Hey love, so today's video is going to be a unit that I'm going to make using the hair from Yairo. I do believe this is how you pronounce their company name, but I'll definitely post it below. They did send me three bundles of their Virgin Brazilian Body Wave and a lace frontal. So I'm going to be using this 40 developer that I did pick up at my local beauty supply store. And the first thing I'm going to do, as you guys see right here, is I'm going to separate the hairs in the frontal. This frontal is already pre-plucked, so it is a really nice frontal. I don't really do too many frontals, but when I do, I definitely want them to be super easy. So I'm just sectioning, sectioning the hair off by using some rubber band this is just to make sure that the roots stay dark because I do like dark roots in a um, majority of all of my units so that is the main purpose for these rubber bands it just makes things a lot easier for me I also do this with my closures so that way my roots do stay dark I don't want any type of slip up that way my lace does stay nice and neat so as you guys see I put like a bunch of them in the unit or the frontal so I'm going to be using the pristine lights um, bleaching powder and this one is the I think it's the blue I'll definitely post it below it is the blue you do need to use the blue one because the hair is darker so for dark to medium brown hair you need to use the blue and I'm also going to be using the entire bottle of this 40 developer because let me tell y'all I hate to have to keep redoing stuff okay like redoing more stuff so I'm definitely going to use the entire bottle I do like my consistency to be more or less kind of runny but this is not going to be runny um, it's more or less kind of like on like the I, I would kind of say it was like like a yogurt type of texture so it's a little bit you know not too thick so I'm just gonna head and brushing out the bundles of hair okay and just using my painting brush thing or whatever you want to call this onto the hair so I like to keep the bundles closed just because I don't want it all over the place and I do take either a brush or a comb and I go ahead and I just kind of like brush throughout the hair now honestly I do like the texture or the actual consistency of the bleach mixture to be a lot more runnier than this but you know I'm just trying something different um, but it does make it a lot easier when it's a little bit more runnier so I did add a little bit more to the actual bowl so I'm just going to continue on with the same process. You just want to make sure that the entire hair is saturated well, especially because you don't want any kind of dark spots. So for me, I do spend a lot of time on one particular bundle. Now let me tell y'all, I don't use luminal foil to process the hair only because, you know, sometimes luminal foil can kind of like burn the hair it kind of may process a little bit too longer and then I have heard like from a lot of hairdressers they don't really like to use aluminum foil they like to prefer to use like plastic so I have just used plastic I haven't used aluminum foil in like the longest so I'm just going to repeat the same thing here I'm not going to show you guys the entire process of me doing each bundle because it's just the same now on to the frontal I'm just going to go ahead and do the same with the frontal but I'm going to make sure to be extra careful not to get any of the bleaching mixture onto the actual um, frontal lace itself because you don't want it to you know ruin your lace and then you have undarkened roots in some spots now I do use a plastic for this as well but I'm also going to go ahead and bleach the knots of the frontal I don't really do this normally but for this time listen we are already doing the bleaching so we're going to do this for the frontal as well but this is the reason why I also did want the you know the mixture to be um thicker because I didn't want it to be too runny and it started running all over my frontal so this is the very next day and this is the color that it came out with the 40 developer really nice pretty color you know what I'm saying you could definitely leave it like this if you wanted to and just tone it with the purple shampoo but your girl got something else in mind okay and this is what it is I'm going to be using the Revlon color silk and this is the color bright auburn I thought this would be really pretty for this color right here so that is the reason why I lifted it like this I could definitely do it again another lift but I'm really not going to do that because I'm not trying to you know um, um, dry the hair out so I'm just going to go ahead with the one um, bleaching process of the 40 developer and I think I left it on for probably like the 40 minutes and the hair is still really like soft it's not dried out as you guys can see the roots look good the color actually looks really nice it's not too bright um, brassy so like I was saying you definitely need to use a light of the blue bleach the blue one if you are using dark to medium brown here so that way you don't have an orange tone so as you guys see I'm just going to take the um, Revlon color silk and I'm just going to you know brush it onto the hair 
this is just like a tedious process I don't really want to take the entire bottle and just squeeze it onto the frontal because I don't want any mishaps mistakes or what you call it. so I'm just going to take my little brush here and I'm gonna take my time and brush the entire frontal so that way nothing you know gets on my lace and it doesn't mess up my dark root or anything like that and that's also the reason why I did leave the bundles closed together because I still have dark roots on that as well so if you are looking for dark roots and you want your hair to stay dark roots you can definitely try the rubber band method that I use um I've done this like on several occasions I just try to find stuff that's really easy for me because I am not trying to catch a headache now as you guys see here I'm just going to do the same thing with the front two I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the dye and I'm going to just go ahead and brush it on. So it does appear like a purplish color on the plastic, but it's definitely going to be this really, really awesome color as you guys can see from the box. The color is Bright Auburn and you can pick this Revlon Color Silk dye up at Walmart for $2.92. Other places you'll probably get it for four, but it is fairly cheap, but it is a really good dye. I love the color that it gives me. I do use like other colors as well from this line, but most importantly, this is like a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Bright Auburn is like hidden. It's very like autumn. It's very trendy color. So I'm going to take the front and I'm just going to put it inside this 99 cents only bag just so that it can, you know, process. So now onto the bundles. I'm just going to squeeze the bottle on to the hair. I did get, I think it was, um... Four boxes of the Revlon color stuff. Listen, sometimes you don't need a whole bunch, but let me tell y'all, I hate running out of something in the middle of a project. That is one thing that I do not like. It has happened to me quite often, quite a few times, and I had to rush to Sally's. Thank God I didn't get no, you know, speeding ticket, but yes, I like to buy enough so that way I don't have to run out. So I did purchase four boxes, especially because it's only $2.92 at Walmart. So for the most part of the hair, like I said, it did process really easy. I did want it a little bit lighter than this, but you know what? It did come out a nice color. I like the fact that, you know what I'm saying, um, the hair was still soft after I actually processed it with 40 Developer. And it was... Um, I did shed just a tiny bit when I washed it, but nothing major. I do like it a lot. So as you guys see, this is like two days later. I did um, make the unit as you guys can see right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. I didn't put any combs in this unit, but that's okay. But um, as you see, look, those little grid marks in between my lace part right there. That's actually just the fishnet um, stock cap that I have on. So the lace is like bomb as hell. As you guys can see, look how pre-plucked and see through it is. And I did use my curling wand barrel to curl this hair but then right after I finished curling it I went ahead and put in those flexi rods so that's the reason why I got like this really glamorous kind of like big tight curls the hair is super long I'm thinking it's more than 20 inches because it is actually like 22 inches I'm not really sure why they told me 20 but it's actually 22 um, it's just so pretty it did dry up a little bit meaning the ends were a little bit dry but for the most part listen this color is a hit like this is a very pretty color it just reminds me of like old glamour Hollywood just so seductive very very glamorous the curls gave the entire look like a total different appearance I really didn't know what to think when I pulled the curls out like this I know I just wanted the curls to stay nice and kind of like loose but then when I seen this um, I just was like yes this is glamour Hollywood and this is something that I wanted to do um, but I really honestly didn't think I could achieve it so the color did set well I did leave the color in the hair for about two hours um, normally I wouldn't leave it in my own hair that long but when I do weave in here I always leave the color in for like two hours and there was one little spot as you guys can see um, that kind of didn't get the dye on it um, unfortunately I missed the spot but that is so unnoticeable the color came out gorgeous I love the richness of it it's something totally different the color is totally out the norm for me um, so now as you guys see I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some baby hairs into this unit because of course this frontal did not come with any baby hairs I don't really like a lot so I just do a little bit I don't want it to be too baby hair um, so I just take my rat tail comb the frontal um, it's just gorgeous. I didn't put any combs in the unit and I didn't even put in my elastic band yet because I was just in a rush and I really wanted to 
actually put the unit on so you guys can see what it looked like. For the most part, it looks so pretty and the color is so rich. And I really do recommend this company. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time that I work with them. Their hair is affordable, especially if you're looking for, you know, something affordable and cute. Then definitely check out Yairo here. I hope that's how you say it. Y'all already know that I will botch somebody's name up for sure. So you guys, now it's time you see my baby hairs. I'm not that great at doing baby hairs, but honeys, this kind of came out all right. I want you guys to just stay tuned. I'm going to let you guys see my styling postures. Let's pose for some pics. And then at the end, I'll definitely get back with you guys and you can let me know what you think of this unit. Okay. Alright you guys, so I really was going to make this entire video a talk over or a voice over rather because I just wanted to speed through it just because I bleached it and I dyed it and I know that was a lot but I just thought I would say a few things. First of all, the hair curls, the curls came out so nice. Like this is like old glamour Hollywood kind of like look that I was going for. That is the reason why I put the flexi rods in it but prior to me flexi rodding it, I did use my barrel curler just to give it the curls and then I went ahead and and flexi rod it. Um, I do love the color so much. It came out like this really, really pretty, like rustic, kind of like, you know, fall orangish, kind of like brownish color. I do like the color a lot. So I'm really glad that I did bleach it and use the Revlon Color Silk color in it. Super cheap, $2.92 at Walmart. You cannot beat the price. Of course, once the curls fall, it will get longer. As you guys can see, it is really kind of long. It is super long. But I like the fact that with the flexi rods, you can definitely wear it shorter and just give it like a totally different look. So you guys, for the company's hair, I think that it did an amazing job and it actually withstood the test of time, which is processing and processing the hair. The ends were a little bit dry, but I did notice that they were only dry due to the flexi rods. Once I just barrel curled it, they were not dry like that. But it seems like every time I flexi rod something, it kind of gets a little bit dry at the end but I do like the fact that the curls kind of like held together because of the ends so I will say this I do like the hair I'm not really sure how to pronounce the companies but I will say this their frontal was laid to the gods honeys like I didn't even do anything to it meaning <laughs> I didn't pre-tweeze it. I didn't pluck it or anything. The hairline is bomb as hell on this actual frontal. So, oh my God. I think like this is like one of the best frontals that I have ever used versus a couple of other companies. This one is definitely like number one hitting on the charts. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I post everything that you guys will need below. Let me know what you think of this color. I absolutely love it. It goes so cute with pink. So I hope you have an amazing week. Um, I will see you guys on the other side. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this with all your social media friends and family. Let them know how much you love me as much as I love you guys. And I'll see you all in a video to come soon.